Hey YouTube, today we are learning a completely useless skill. How to use an abacus, because as a business owner, if there is a zombie apocalypse outside and everything has gone to crap and the computers don't work and the zombies have eaten all of the pencils and paper and the calculators and it's all just been shot to death and you still need to run your business, the trusty abacus will get you through. Hey guys, Eddie Hood here, and you are watching The Profitable Entrepreneur. We are dedicated to helping you build a business that will set you free, and today is a little silly because we're learning how to use an abacus, a 2,000-year-old calculator. Why? I don't know. It just sounds like something fun to do. I found this thing in the office. So you can use this to do uh, you know, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, all of that stuff. We're going to start with addition. Each row is uh, as, as a placeholder. So these are the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and the billions. So this thing can really go quite high. Now if you're adding, all you do, we're going to do an easy one real quick. We'll do eight plus seven. These are the ones, so we're going to count over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we add seven. One, two, because I'm out of ones, I trade all of them for a 10, and I keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven. So eight plus seven is 10, plus one, two, three, four, five, or 15. Ah, pretty fancy, right? Okay, let's do a harder one. Let's do, I don't know, 130 plus 41. 130 plus 41. So that means we've got to start up here in the hundreds. We're gonna add 100 and then three tens. That's my 130. And to add 41, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 of the 10s, plus a 1. That gives me 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 170, 1. 171. This thing's fancy. I'm, gonna, I'm throwing away my calculator. I'm just going to use this from now on. All right, guys, multiplication is a little bit different. We still have placeholders for each of the rungs here, but it's kind of mirrored. So let's do an easy one. Let's do 8 times 7. So notice that I'm using the top and the bottom now. This is still my ones placeholder, but now this is also gonna be a ones placeholder because we're using single digit numbers times single digit numbers. Okay, the way this works is for every one on the top I, I push over, I gotta have a group of eight down here. Now the first one I pushed over, I've already got eight, so I'm done. Next, I'll push that over and I gotta count eight more over. One, two, but I'm all out of ones, so I gotta switch all of those for a 10 and keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you just keep doing that until you run out. Push that over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate it? Anyway. Push that over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm all out. Push that over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push that over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven times eight is one, two, three, four, five, which is 50, because the, the tens. Uh, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Seven times eight is 56. That, could, that would have taken five seconds on a calculator or less, but hey, this was more fun. Now let's do a more difficult multiplication problem. Let's do a two digit number times a single digit number. We'll do 21 times seven. So again, we're gonna mirror. This is gonna be our, our, our uh, single digit row here, and this will be our 10 digit row. This is now our single digit row, and this is our 10 digit row because again, we're using two digits. So uh, one tip, put the, uh, put the smaller number up top and the bigger number down below, it's less flipping of, of beads. So I'm gonna put seven here, seven in the, in the single unit place here, and then 21, two tens and a one. So every time I push a beat over, I need to get rid of 21 down here. So let's push a beat over, and then I'm gonna add uh, 20 and uh, one, push a beat over, 20 and one, push a beat over, 20 and one, push a beat over, 20 and one, push a beat over. Now I'm all out here, okay? So I'm gonna push 100 over and start over like this and go 20 and one, push a beat over and go 20 and one. So the answer is 100 plus 40 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 147, not bad, right? 
Now we are in the home stretch. We are gonna divide with this big weird looking thing and it's it's actually awesome. I didn't think you could do it, but you can. And uh, it's just like multiplication where you're mirroring the top and the bottom. And uh, here's how it works. So let's do a simple one. We'll do eight divided by four. If you need this to figure that out, anyway. Okay, so uh, single digits up here and single digits down here just because uh, we're doing single digit numbers. Uh, so let's put eight up top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide that by four. So every time I move four over, I get to count one of these. Every time I move four over, I get to count one of these. And I'm done because all the beads are pushed over up on top. That means eight divided by four is one, two. Excellent. All right guys, now we're gonna do a harder division problem to wrap this video up. Let's do 125 divided by Five. So we're using a three digit number divided by a single digit number. So up here I've got my singles, tens, and hundreds. So I'm gonna do 125, just like that. And remember, we're dividing by five, so groups of five. Don't think of the number five, think, think of groups of five. So I've got, I've got to get rid of these. So for every five of these singles, boom, I get to count one single. Now I need to keep going, I get rid of my tens, but to do that, I'm gonna push that over and trade it for 10 ones, right? So you still got the same number here. Then I'm gonna push five over and count another single. Push five over and count another single. Then I'm gonna trade out this 10 again. And then I'm gonna push five over, count another single. Five over, count another single. Now I'm jumping up to the hundreds. I got a problem here. So when I push that over, I get to, I get to count 10 tens, right? Because it was 100. And now what happens is everybody gets messed up and they keep trying to move over the singles. Don't do that. We're just moving in by groups of five. So I'm gonna push five over, and now I get to count one ten. Ah. Push five over, and count another 10. Now we're done, because all of the beads have been pushed over. So 125 divided by five is 10, 20. One, two, three, four, five. 25. I hope you guys enjoyed learning this completely useless tutorial on how to use an abacus. You're never going to use it, but it is kind of cool and it was fun to learn and, and maybe it's going to be a nice party trick for you. I don't know. But if you like this video and you want access to all of the other ones I create in the future, go ahead and click that big beautiful red subscribe button over there. That will give you access to all of our future videos where we help you build a business that will set you free.